We are in St. Kitts, baby. On this episode, we'll have some unexpected trouble. Major fail. It's like, you have your passport, right? We're like, nope. Then we'll show you some lovely sights around this sweet Caribbean island. Booby Island. What'd you think of those monkeys? Monkeys, volcanoes, and so much more. Welcome to Lazy Gecko Sailing. I'm Brittany, and this is Jeremiah. I came from the mud. For five years, we've been sailing the world and filming it all for you. Strong like a tree. Now come along with us as we head for the Caribbean. Make sure to click subscribe so you don't miss any of the fun. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. I am so excited. Since we've stopped for a little bit, I was able to get my bikinis from Bikini Addiction. Or you can, call, I call it my Bikini Addiction. It goes both ways. But they even gave me this hot little binder. It's almost like I'm going to school for bikini. Bikini model. There you go. And look, I have so many bikinis now. But I love them. They've even made some to fit my body a little better. I love it. They come hot with like little jewels. They even got little bracelets. So excited. I have a good amount in my collection now. I hope I get all the colors, but I think that would mean I have a few hundred because they make a lot of colors and like a lot of color combinations. They're amazing. I'm going to try them on for you. Let's go have some fun. Put it back here. This binder has two compartments. So this one, and then you can unzip it on the other side as well. Let's go with a darker color since I have more of those, I think. Traditional black, that always works. Should we, ooh, I got a thong or a scrunch bottom. Let's start with more. bikini I ever got from my bikini addiction. Black, classic black. It works with everything. Scrunch bottom. I love a good scrunch bottom, but lately I've been going more towards the thong, so the next couple will probably be more thong-like. But uh, you always gotta get the classic black in there. You can never go wrong with a black bikini. Trust me. Perfect. The tops always kind of look the same, little rhinestones. Simple, but very cute. I don't really wear my hair in braids unless I'm scuba diving, but it's fun. I do do it a lot in the islands because it's so hot. So, yeah. It definitely works. Okay, moving on. These are my bikinis from Bikini Addiction and they are awesome. 
let's go explore this little island. We've stowed the fenders and have been cruising around St. Kitts, a beautiful island in the Caribbean. Here's one difference between our catamaran from our monohull. We can fit all of the fenders inside a compartment instead of along the lifelines. And that's a pretty big deal. We only have a few days left before our weather window to continue sailing south. So we've decided to rent a car to see the sights. This was supposed to be an easy car drop-off, but during the renting process, the agency told us that we'd need to purchase a license. Luckily, he was nice enough to lead us to the police station where we could. It's like musical uh, car doors. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, he's strapped in. He's strapped in. This is weird. What? License. Well, yeah, I mean, that's like, when I mean, you go to Japan, you have to get a li another license. So who's gonna get scanned for, who's the criminal here? Who should get scanned? I'll, I'll get the license. All right, I'm a little worried. I'm usually the one that does the promiscuous stuff, so you never know. Promiscuous? <laughs> well, I don't know, I'm looking for a good word. Look at that, look at that. Whoa, that's cool. Nice, did you see that? It was like marine guys. Oh, that was awesome. Hold on, we'll show you. Let me see him again. It's like people in the back of a truck with guns. We are in St. Kitts. We have like three days left. We explored as much as we could without being able to grab a ball. Passing right between St. Kitts and Nevis. And we noticed on the chart it said Booby Island. We decided to get a little rental car no idea that we had to uh, get a license, so this is new. They dropped off the rental car to us, and now we're following them to go get a license. That's 20, what they said. $25 license. That's where we were. Oh, that's where we were. So we are following him again, and you are driving on the opposite side again. Yep. I was reading a little bit of history about the island. So it was first founded by the French in the 17th century. And then the British took it over and then it became its own country. So it went France, British, now it's its own country, which is really cool. Uh, it's known for like beautiful beaches, which usually the Caribbean islands are. It's one of the two largest islands in the Caribbean. Let's turn an unsuccessful couple hours into a successful day. Fail. <laughs> Major fail. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we got to the police station, which is, I don't know, a 20 minute drive, other side of the island. And uh, the guy that rented the vehicle to us, he was like, you have your passport, right? And we're like, nope. Not something that we like to carry around outside of the boat. But you know, especially in these areas. Yeah. And we've already experienced theft, so I'd hate to lose that. Yeah. What would we do if we lost that? Go all the way back to the States? Oh, St. Yeah. Thomas, maybe? In a, I don't know. I don't know. Huh. But, Either yeah, way. So I couldn't get my license, but it's really, they're like, but well, you're good. Just get it sometime today. It's all it is. It's just a tax they want to charge you. Yeah, so we're, we're headed back to the boat, and then, um, grab some lunch and go back to the police station and that'll be our day. That'd be great. <laughs> we experienced the police station in St. Kitts. So, wow, this is gorgeous. Does it feel good to drive? Yeah, I always enjoy driving. Why is that? I don't know. Well, I've always liked it. And, you know, you get off the boat and you're moving more than six knots. That's cool. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Their mom goes. Off to get the passports. What'd you think of those monkeys? Good. Yeah, what'd you think? Good, I hope this monkey's back here. There probably will be. Daddy, they're like, hey, 
Get out of here. They're running away from us. I don't know why. We're there he is. He's looking at me. I see a little one. I see a little guy. It's like, what are they doing? There you go. Oh, he's getting mad. There's thousands of monkeys at this island. How many? Show thousands. Me the fingers. I can't do thousands. Like this? Did you have fun? Did you like seeing the monkeys? Yeah. You funnel right through the volcano. Boom. Going up the mountain. What'd you think of those monkeys? I thought that was awesome. I don't think I've ever seen wild monkeys just on the side of the road. You know, and I've been, I, you know, most places I didn't go to, they, were, they weren't tropical, they were desert, the ones I went to, so. This is really neat, really neat. Yeah. I like monkeys, they're pretty cool. I didn't know if we should roll the window down, because I didn't know if they like, can match it and shit, but. They seem pretty friendly and playful. Yeah, they are cool. Yeah. Thousands well, are we'll, free roaming here. Yeah, maybe we'll run into a couple as we're hiking up this volcano or whatever we're gonna do. Go to this beach. But first, let's go get a license. Oh my gosh, a license. We're still working get, on this. Did you get the passport? I did. Is it mine? Yes. All right, we're good. No, actually it's Reese's. Yeah. Hey, look, you didn't say whose passport. <laughs> you said I needed a passport. Do you know uh, where you're going by now? I think I have to go that way. All right, where's my, where's my passport? You ready for round two? Let's do it. I put it in that front pocket oh, we zipper. Do this, in that pocket, yeah. Yeah, you're gonna come. Passport, passport. Yeah. Okay, you gonna carry that? Can you just put it in this bag? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, police station again. You ready? Come on, buddy. Jump. That's right.60 days, I think you said. Um, and for a year, it's like 60 bucks or something like that. But you just go to the police station and you pay the fee to take your passport and your license. And then, and I believe they also track it. So like if you cause trouble, come back later, you won't be able to drive. Ah. Come on, go ahead. All right. Let's see your temporary license. So <laughs> <laughs> we look at my personal information. Sorry. <laughs> look at that. We got chicken. Hello, chicken. She's thirsty. Honey, you are now legal to drive. So does that mean you've been driving illegally? No. Oh, really? Oh. Okay. We found it. Black rocks, or also known as black stone. So the volcano, the lava would flow down the northeast side of the island and it formed these black rocks, which is really cool. So this is like a point that that we see where you can look down at them. Now I'm dancing to your vibe. Uh -uh. It looks like they built like a little village right here with some shops and different things going on, but there is a way down to the actual block, black rocks where there's pools of water and you can take a dip in there. I don't know how to get there, but I'm gonna try to find a local and find out. That'd be really cool. 
looking for that famous black sand. Boom. It's like you go through a village of houses and there you are. Yeah. This is the northeast part of the island and this is where all the lava came down and went into the ocean. It just flattens out. But the sand here is, it looks kind of like charcoal. Uh, you know, they call it black sand beaches. It's really pretty. the woman if there's another entrance to the black rocks mm -hmm. and she said they had to rope it off because it became too dangerous the, maybe the conditions time of year something might have happened uh, yeah. so what we saw is what we get but we have the black sand isn't that cool and you're gonna go get a little black rock are you gonna get a black rock from the volcano you gotta find the perfect black rock to bring home with us here you go yeah. reese will find us a black rock bring it home and we'll keep it in our treasure trip treasure chest we were driving along looking for Black Point, the black rocks from the volcano, came across Dieppe Bay. And what it is basically a beach of black sand which comes from the lava, that's where it gets its color. So it's really, really cool. We kind of look for some lava rocks and we're going to bring one home for a little souvenir. Really cute, romantic beach bar almost. You can definitely tell it's a local spot which is really cool. It feels authentic. Yeah. Oh. And some sea glass. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Reese has a little wooden treasure chest that we've been collecting items for. Mostly sea glass and neat rocks he finds along the way. It's pretty cool. We use a sharpie and mark each piece with the name of the island it was found. He's got a really neat collection. It just looks so sweet and lonely. Did you see the horse galloping down the beach? No, are you serious? Gets back there right now. Oh my gosh, that is cool. Oh my gosh, it's so romantic and quaint. And I love that it's local, you know? It's yeah. not like a little tourist thing. They're really just enjoying life right here. Yeah. I found a piece of sea glass and it says Jamaica. That's, got, that's pretty cool. I think that's a sign. To what? Sail to Jamaica? Yeah. Get a picture of the castle. Okay. All right. Let's go look for hot lava rocks. You're looking for hot lava rocks. Yeah. Nice. You ready to get going? Yep. All right. Peace. Nice. Whoa, cow. Now those are sheep. We've pretty much gone around the whole island of St. Kitts by now, but driving along, the sun's setting, and we see like a tugboat, and it looks like it must have lost power and just drifted up to this almost like a jetty of rocks, like a point that comes together. And so we're like, oh my gosh, let's fly the drone and check it out. Some really cool footage and we think that we saw somebody actually come out of the boat. I don't know if somebody's living on it, but oh my gosh, awesome. Now we are heading along, completing our circle around the island. Gonna look for a little cool spot to have some dinner. Really enjoyed it. Tomorrow we plan to try to go see a little bit of a waterfall. I check out some rainforest and uh yeah. Having a really good time. This is definitely the way to explore an island when you only have a couple of days. Coming up on the Lazy Geckos.
Go on up eight monkeys at home. You know that wants to get them. 21 knots away at 60 degrees. Awesome sail. Oh yeah. Passion fruit, I've never had one of these. It's a Friday night here in St. Lucia. Dress or skirt? This is the freezer. The water coming from the bamboo is 115 degrees. Trying to get through these. Woo! I wish I was that dog and I was like, oh, <laughs> ha ha ha. I was carrying her like this and he's like, so I could be nuzzled in there and you could carry me like that. Did he really? <laughs> <laughs> Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below. Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week.